And welcome back. We're all month long. We are recognizing Black History Month and over at City Hall right now, the African American Heritage Exhibit has a new display. It is called a focus of portraits. Now it features the work of local artists and 13 Action News anchor Rachel Moore is live with one of the artists who was given a very special assignment for this gallery. Rachel, good morning. Kalina Todd, good morning. We are in the home studio of Joseph Watson, and he is the artist who painted all of the portraits of the honorees at Legacy Park. Here's some printouts of those portraits. The live ones you saw, or the real ones, the actual portraits are at uh, the African American Heritage Exhibit inside City Hall. And joining me is the artist himself, Joseph Watson. Joseph, just tell me about these portraits and just what kind of blood, sweat, tears went into this work for you. So yeah, these portraits were, there are actually uh, 36 portraits that I did um, based on the honorees of the project. And it was, a, it was very challenging actually to create this many portraits in that short amount of time. So yeah, I came up with a very cool process to create the 36 original paintings. Um, each one of these portraits highlights, you know, these here are four different individuals everywhere from like Ruby Duncan to John Creer. And just talk about Ruby Duncan and just, just what did she do for, for the city of Las Vegas? So yeah, she was an activist back in the you know, earlier days. And so she really uh, you know, fought you know, welfare rights activists. So uh, she really made a difference to a lot of African Americans out there uh, now too. I, I think she has a school as well too, but mm -hmm. I did meet her during the actual uh, ceremony for Legacy Park. And now over at Legacy Park, these portraits are etched in black and white in the memorial or in the stones that are surrounded, surrounding that park. So it's, what, is it, what does it mean to you to have your work there? It means everything to me to have my art showcased, uh, you know, portraying these individuals who did a lot for our city because a lot of the kids can go up to the park and just really be inspired on what they can be in life. So when they go up, they can read about everyone there and what they did and what they contributed and it just really lets people know what they can achieve with their life and they can hopefully uh, do the same thing or better. And these portraits again can be seen at the African American Heritage Exhibit down at City Hall on the second floor. It will be open all month long and actually extended through the month of April. Reporting live, Rachel Moore, 13 Action News.